Airsofters, ODA here, and today I'll be showing you how to spray paint your helmet with a snakeskin pattern. Alright, so before we begin spray painting our helmet, we will need a few things. First and foremost, obviously, we're going to need spray paint. Now, please note, when you go to the store to pick up your spray paint, you will have to be at least 18 to purchase it. And when you do get it, make sure you get two, at least two different colors of spray paint. You can get however many colors you want to use, but you're going to need at least two. And one last thing, make sure they're flat colors, all right? It's very important. Get the flat colors. Next, you're going to need some type of webbing-like mesh, kind of like this, all right? This is just like a $2 laundry bag that I picked up at Home Depot, but realistically, you can use anything that kind of has this mesh-like pattern to it. But if you want to pick up the laundry bag, it's only like two bucks, and I find this stuff works the best, so I would recommend getting that. Next, you're going to need spray. Uh, next, you're going to need painter's tape. Now, unfortunately, I did not have any painter's tape because I ran out, so I improvised, and I'm using a lint roll because this stuff is very similar to painter's tape, and uh, for our purposes, it'll work just the same. Next, you will probably need some form of eye protection. Not mandatory, but I would highly recommend it because. Better safe than sorry, right? And finally, you're going to need some form of towel, drape, or tarp to ensure that you don't get spray paint on anything you don't want to get spray paint on. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to tape up any part of the helmet that you do not want to get spray painted, with the exception of the straps and bungee cords. Now, in this case, we will be spray painting the bungee cords, so we don't need to worry about them, but since we don't want to do the straps, what I would recommend doing is just taking them like this, buckling them up, sticking them inside the helmet, and then you can use some of the tape to tape it down. And then next, you're probably going to want to tape up the uh, Velcro patches right here. Now, if you do want to spray paint them, that's up to you, but in this case, we will not be spray painting them, so we're going to go ahead and tape them up. Now, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here for five minutes and watch me tape up a helmet, so we're going to use the power of editing to go ahead and fast forward. Alright, so we've taped up our helmet, and as you can see, obviously I didn't do the prettiest job of taping because I was using a lint roll, but you shouldn't have this problem really when you're using painter's tape. But again, it doesn't have to be really pretty, it just has to ensure that the majority of the Velcro gets covered up. And as you can see for the inside, what I've done is I've taped up the holes to ensure that the spray paint does not go through and uh, spray paint anything we don't want to get hit. And then I've also just taped the straps to the inside so they don't fall out when we are spray painting it. Alright, so now that our helmet's all taped up, we've gone ahead and moved outside, put our tarp on the ground, and we're ready to begin spray painting. So to start off, take your spray paint, whatever color you want to use for your base coat. I'm going to be using a tan. Make sure it's nicely shaken up. And now we're ready to begin. So to spray paint it, make sure you hold it about a foot away from the helmet, give or take. You don't want to hold it too close, otherwise the paint's going to get all blotched up and it's not going to look very nice and too far away it's not going to cover the helmet very effectively so about a foot give or take should work really well Alright, so now that our helmet's spray painted with the base coat and we've given it a little time to dry, we are now ready to move on to the second step. So basically, go ahead and grab your mesh, whatever you've decided to use. Again, I'm going to be using an old laundry bag. And basically, all that you're going to do is just simply put the helmet inside the bag. Tighten it down a little bit. And tuck the remainder of the mesh inside of the helmet, like so. 
Now, once that's done, just go ahead and make sure that the mesh is nice and close to the helmet because when you go and spray paint over this, it's not going to look nice. It's going to get all blotched up and look very unsightly. So just go ahead and make sure that the mesh is nice and close to the helmet to ensure that the snake skin effect comes out the best. Alright, so now that the helmet's in the bag, go ahead and pick up your second color of spray paint and give it a nice shake. And, same as last time, hold the spray paint about a foot away from the helmet, but instead this time, don't go quite as heavy on the spray paint. All you're trying to do is just give it a little pattern, a little texturing, so you don't need to go as heavy. So, let's begin. Alright, so we've given the helmet a little time to dry because you want to make sure it's pretty dry when you take it out of the bag, otherwise the paint might smear, but we've given it a little time to dry, now it's time to take it out of the bag. Let's see what we got. Alright. Alright, there you go. That's your end result. Alright, so here's your end result of the helmet. Came out pretty nice. I probably went a little heavy on the top, but still looks pretty cool. And if you messed up in some way, shape, or form, or you're just not satisfied with a certain way you did it, you can always go ahead and just go ahead and reapply your first coat and do it all over again because it really doesn't make much of a difference. Alright guys, so that about wrap it up for our how-to video on how to spray paint a helmet with snakeskin pattern. If you enjoyed, be sure to click that like button down below and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest videos. Also, if you got any questions regarding the video, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching. Alright guys, that'll about wrap it up for our how-to video on how to spray paint a helmet with snakeskin. If you enjoyed, please be sure to click that button. Do not got through it again. Got my words. <laughs>